this hike today is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be 20 kilometres along the Australian Alps walking track through Valhalla. There's going to be five waterfalls, two huge historic bridges, train lines, mines, caves. Take this one in and enjoy. Valhalla, it means Valley of the Gods. So I'll show you that we're actually walking through this huge valley. In its peak, this started back in 1851, I believe. So it's over 170 years old and it pulled out 70 tons of gold. So yeah, there'll be a few historic buildings along this walk, but then when we get on the Australian Alps walking track, that's when we go along the Thompson River and it gets truly breathtaking. If you're new to the channel, welcome. The point of the channel is simply to inspire and educate. So I hope you enjoy it. Happy hiking. abandoned mines along the way and um there's probably over a dozen so yeah so it's actually a dead end it's probably only another couple meters on this one here so yeah we've hit the trail now and we're on the Australian Alps walking track so this track will actually take you all the way to Canberra. It's a bucket list of mine. It's 600 k's or something thereabouts. And um, you walk through the, the Victorian Alpines and yeah, you end up going all the way to Canberra. So if you want to do that one, check that one out. So you, so you can see three mountains there, one in the background, then one in the middle and one in the foreground. Valhalla, the town, is down in the bottom of all those three. And there's a big river running all the way through the bottom here. Here's another little abandoned mine. There's lots. So if you're into caving or mining and old history, I'd definitely come and check out Valhalla's hike. It's just amazing. So you can see where we're walking down to now. And this is where all the waterfalls will flow into. So this is the Thompson River. And we're going to be coming up to Poverty Bridge, which is a huge historical bridge and we'll cross this gorge. So we've made it to the historic bridge. This is Poverty Bridge. So how cool was that bridge? So high from the river and um, yeah the river's so clean and like just the water see through at the moment but I tell you walking along that bridge was very scary and um, 
you know, you just couple of your footings, the wood seems to be like a little bit rotted. So, yeah, I don't want to do that way too many times. So you can see the bridge in the distance. Check out how beautiful the water is. You've got all these gorgeous ferns just on the riverbank. So yeah, we're just hiking along the ridge line now. And um, we're just surrounded by all these mountains and I just wanted to wish everyone all the best. I hope you're all having fun, staying healthy and um, yeah, enjoying life. So the Thompson River is just down there. We're still walking along the trail. And on the opposite side of the river, this is what we get. And beautiful green trails too. I might have mentioned it earlier, but it's a flat track and it's only about a grade three hike. So it's just for the novice bushwalkers and there's no better place to start actually. Like just, you just have a look around and it's just absolutely stunning. And there's just, yeah, so much fresh water. So yeah, if you're a novice bushwalker, give this one a go. So we're just on the trail and I've come across a little wasp nest. Check out this. Pretty cool, hey? We'll keep going though, we won't hang around too long. Oh, so we've come, we've done 16 kilometers guys and girls. So let's have a closer look at the map. All right, we've got a map of the area. So you can see Valhalla Station where we started. And then we followed that all along Stringers Creek on the north side. Then we went all the way up to Poverty Point where we were surrounded by mountains either side of the Thompson River. And now we've just got to get back to Valhalla Station. So for anyone interested on the railway line, the train times, here you go. Here's the historic railway. And that was built way back in the old turn of the century. Have a look at the station. Now an old metal letterbox. Here's the platform. Oh. Gotta love looking at old stuff and just how nice and simple and handcrafted everything was, made with their hands, you know, not big, big factories and machines. Oh, it's gorgeous. Have a look how this just runs across the river. I'm 
Thompson Bridge now. We're going back to Valhalla. So if you've watched this far, I would just like to say you're amazing. Thank you for going on this journey with me, this hiking journey. Um, that's going to be the new format of the channel. You'll notice there's already a couple videos published. And they're, I'm going to call them hiking, no, virtual hiking experiences. So you can come on a journey, come on a hike. It's really for those people that have either got a disability um, or even sick and can't walk, don't have the money, aren't in this country, and they want to see what you know Valhalla has to offer, for example. So I think that will be the good format. But yeah, I really appreciate you having a watch, and yeah, hopefully I get to see you on the trail one day, and you're having a great day. So there's the historic railway all the way into Valhalla. It's amazing how they built this stuff over a hundred years ago into big thick cliffs. Across the Valhalla train station. So, have a look at this one. So, they've actually dug the Stringer Creek, which I was walking under along. They've dug it under the railway. So, I'm going to give you a closer up look. So, we walked a little bit further, and here's the creek. It goes all along the train line. And here's how they've built it under the track. There you go. 170 year old ingenuity. And then it pops out on the other side and goes all the way down to Valhalla. Oh, so we've come to the end of the hike. I thank you so much for watching. You can see my car in the background, so there is a toilet facility in there as well, and there's lots of maps. Um, so I appreciate you watching. We're going to go on another big journey this week at the end of the week. We're going to go somewhere completely different. But in the meantime, to tie you over, there's a few other hiking and survival and um, hiking virtual hiking experiences on there. So I hope you have a great day and um, happy hiking. Happy hiking.